What's up everyone, welcome back to ARTV. My name is John and it's time for a review of the fifth studio album by the alternative rock band Silver Sun Pickups, a bit of a comeback album after they took some time off for their family and also some side projects. This new record is called Widow's Weeds. Widow's Weeds marks their first studio album since 2015's Better Nature, and if I'm being quite honest, that record was disappointing and I felt very lukewarm on it. It had some standout tracks, I really liked the lead single Nightlight, but I failed to find it memorable. It's a record that's lacking in many departments. I've been with Silver Sun Pickups since close to the start. I really dug their debut album, Carnivus. Obviously, Lazy Eye was a smash, and I still come back to that to this day. Uh, kind of a modern classic, if you ask me. And then their subsequent albums and the years that came after that, Swoon and Neck of the Woods, were both very strong. But something about Better Nature just felt a bit off. So while I was excited for their new album, Widow's Weeds, I was also slightly hesitant. And then I heard the lead single, It Doesn't Matter Why, and I was really thrown off. I was rattled a bit because I didn't know entirely how to feel about it. It has these kind of racing symphonic elements in the back of it, a big bass groove from Nikki on this one. And it's something that I feel settles in a whole lot more once you hear it in the context of the album. It really makes a lot more sense and I've grown to love it. If Better Nature was Silver Sun pickups branching out and experimenting to mixed results, then this is them getting back on track. It sees them picking up the guitars a little bit more, there's some more detailed and nuanced bass lines, the drumming has improved, I even think that Brian's vocals on this record stand out and jump off the page a little bit more. I don't want to just sit here and compare two records, because obviously it's two different beasts that we'd be looking at and picking apart there. But in the context of this record, I do feel that it's very cohesive. Butch Vig was the producer for this, I'm a big fan of him, have been for quite some time. He's worked on a lot of projects that I truly respect, including probably one of my favorites that he's ever done, outside of Nevermind, of course. We had Wasting Light from the Foo Fighters in 2011, and he really brings his talents here to make them focus in on that detail of getting into the groove, and Silver Sun pickups are good at doing that. They make longer songs, often around like five to six minutes, and they lock in for that again on this round. It's something that it doesn't really feel like it's always progressing, but when it does, when they really fall into the zone, you know, and it takes over you. There's an illustrious feeling to the songwriting that definitely hits you a little bit harder on Widow's Weeds. I do like that aspect, but I also do recognize that many of these songs, especially with repeated listens of the album, feel a bit samey, like you're listening to an album and you hear one song, especially probably like tracks three through five for me. I'm hearing the guitar progressions, the bass style, the way that it's popping out in that regard, and it all feels very familiar to the other tracks. And in a way, I appreciate the kinetic energy, but also as I play it more, it starts to maybe detract a bit just because I'm like, didn't I already hear this somewhere else? That doesn't change the fact that this is a very, very solid album Album, one that I feel is engaging. I think the guitars will definitely please a lot of hardcore fans of the band. I think the bass lines definitely stand out. In the context of the record, I think some of the songs get even better, including the lead single, It Doesn't Matter Why, which seems to be a bit of a commentary on social media stars, the rises to fame that we're seeing because of social media. It doesn't matter why we're known, we're just known is the refrain that's used there. It's a really, really hard-hitting track in many ways, and it's not your typical Silver Sun pickups, but I think that they do a good job at making kind of the typical sound that you might expect from them, but updating it just a bit, adding some symphonic elements here and there, some strings coming in, and also what we've come to know and love them for, which is a bit of bombast. I've already noted my love for the lead single, It Doesn't Matter Why, so let's dive into the follow-up single, Freakazoid. This is a track that feels hyper-engaging because their lead vocalist is just very charismatic here, the way that he presents himself. It's emotive, it definitely pulls a response from the listener. I like how he kind of just puts a little bit of extra strain on his voice, especially when he's singing a few of these verses, a few of the notes, and he's talking about kind of being an outcast, maybe being a bit sarcastic. It's kind of a melancholic anthem, if you will. There's a weird combination of instruments on this one, from orchestral to a little bit more traditional, but whatever they're laying down, I'm picking up. 
Straw Man is the shortest song on this record, and it definitely packs kind of a searing burn to it. I like how it starts off a little bit slow, and then kind of rattles you a bit. As it really explodes musically, I can sense some anger coming from this one. Songbirds definitely feels like traditional Silver Sun pickups. I love that bass groove there, and also the opening track, probably one of my absolute favorites. It just made me so, so happy the first time I hit play on it. Neon Wound reminds me of of Carnivus. It reminds me of Swoon, those bigger days where they're on the edge of something. And I wish maybe just slightly it had broken free just a bit more, but I'm not going to sit here and be a complainer. I'm going to take what I'm given because this track kicks so much ass. The bass, the guitars here, Brian and everybody just coming together and having so much chemistry as a band. I missed that. It felt like it had been a while, and now they're back, and they're putting out songs like this. And even the closing moment, We Are Chameleons, which again, just sets them on the straight and narrow. They're kind of breaking down the doors and cutting it to a straight. As I mentioned already, there are moments that feel kind of repetitive, ones that feel like they're regurgitating bass lines or guitar parts, and it all definitely feels like it's taking place in the same world, which can get a bit old after a while. Don't know why, doesn't really do a ton for me. I don't think that there's any bad songs on this record per se, just ones that feel maybe a little bit less interesting than others. Before I close out this review, I do have to mention Bag of Bones, a top tier track here that feels very suspenseful. It keeps you on the edge of your seat while you're listening, because to me, this is something where they really get it down pat. They know exactly what they're doing. They've fallen into the groove of this album at this point because this comes right in the middle. And the songwriting style here, their approach as a band, it just feels really rad. Honestly, I love what they're doing on tracks like this. And even if you don't check out the full album, you gotta hear Bag of Bones and a few of the others. Check my favorites and least favorites in the description down below. Well, to sum it all up here, I really did enjoy this album, although it definitely does feel a bit more suffocated upon repeated revisits to the album. I'm not sure how you guys are feeling, but me overall, I'm going to go on the cautious side here and rate this a very strong 3.5 out of 5. At first, I was definitely feeling a strong 4, but I feel that I scaled that back because maybe at first I was just excited to see them back and rocking in a familiar state. If you're able to support me on Patreon, it would be greatly appreciated. Hit that top link in the description down below or the annotation in the corner. If you want to see my review of Better Nature by the Silver Sun Pickups, then tap here or tap here for another alternative rock review. Socials can be found in the description down below, and I'll see you soon for more right here on ARTV.